That actually picked up quite a bit of brush. Oh, it's probably not going to be very clear because the windshield on this side by side is, or this mule gate, or whatever you want to call it. It's a workhorse. That's why I call it a mule. But yeah, it's the windshield's dirty, dusty. So my husband's plans are to take these piles like that one that he's getting there's two over here that one and putting it all on top of this one and just lighten it it is a little windy today but we've got it to the point of uh contained in right where it's at i don't we don't think it'll go any further than what it has in it's it I don't know if it rained last night possibly, but it looks a little damp, just everywhere that you look, it just looks a little damp. This takes way more time to do the stuff that the skid steer couldn't and could for saying you know like well it couldn't really grab brush but like getting uh, scoops of dirt and taking it from one area to another definitely the skid steer was more efficient more usable for that point but at the same time the skid steer couldn't do the stuff that we're going to be doing with this like for instance dozing well it could have I mean don't get me wrong it could have but this has a better type of just blading off about four inches at a time but it can do it and it would be more level with this because it's got a, a floating guide I believe or it's a six-way, I can't remember, three-way or something, something like that on it. So if you're not sitting level, that will. Where the skid steer didn't have that, it was just stationary. This can dig around something a lot quicker than what the skid steer could. For instance, on the... Uh, Um, like digging out stumps this does a heck of a lot better and faster I mean that's what it's made for skid steer can't really dig ditches I mean it can but this is made for that skid steer's not and that was the that was the thing my husband was thinking you know it's a lot more wear and tear on the skid steer when I can get something that is made for what I, I need it for So this is what we're going to be doing, weather perm permitting, and my husband having time, obviously, too, after work. Um, is this up here so we can get this finished, at least, and cut down, and maybe start grading it after all the stumps are pulled? But, like I told my husband, I don't, we don't necessarily even have to grade this. I would kind of like the the hill though that goes down to like down to the bottom of the barn this to look a little more soft rolling and but other than that and that over there that has the 10 and 12 feet drop that I would like to have kind of filled in so then the boys can be over in that area too for part of theirs. But other than that, we could get this seeded next year in the spring and then start getting the um, money to put fencing up and then get the goats and a beef cow put over here. That actually grabs quite a bit of brush.
Yeah, I'll go over after it settles down. <laughs> He's like, no, you should be here to watch it. Yeah, you have to roll it like you were doing. I mean, to wherever you decide to put them at. Then in that hole. Right. We change plans here, then that ain't gonna work. Right. Nope. Yeah, I know. I thought, shoot, if you could grab it and just put it over there on that bigger pile right there, all he's got to do is come down and back up. The ash falling on. Right.
He said the only thing you don't like about the thumb on this is that it's made pretty chintzy. The reason why he says is because on the John Deere's, their thumbs have teeth that go all the way down it. So stuff doesn't slip out of it like this one does because it doesn't have a whole lot of teeth even on the thumb. He's going to be sitting there a while. There's a stump. There was a stump right here. I think it was about right there. And that's what it was. I didn't even think it was that big of a, a tree. But the root systems on these trees that we have out here are pretty... They're pretty... um rooted and they have a lot of dirt underneath of them that's just cake to them I'm not sure what he's doing I was thinking to myself, like, you know, seeing this four acres here, I'm like, gosh, you know, you could have a house built on here. You'd have a, a nice area to do, you know, a, a good sized garden to grow your veggies and plant some fruit trees, have a pasture, and still have an area of a yard and you'd be able to raise your own meat and have your own dairy if you did a dairy goat or two raised you a beef cow raised you some rabbits you know and did a, a small chicken area just to raise your your eggs per se and you want them grass you know pasture raised eggs i mean you could do all that right here it's amazing you don't need a whole lot of land to even, you know, to be able to live self-sufficiently. You could even do that even more micro. Say on an acre, you know, have your house, a barn. You could do a small dairy, like a uh, Nigerian or something. You could do maybe two Nigerians and carry a buck. You could still do possibly if you just fed hay, but I don't know if that would work out as well. Like the cost to, you know, to side to a beef cow or something. Or if you just do strictly meat birds and rabbit, I mean, you could do that too. Have a garden, a little small orchard. You could live pretty, pretty well off of an acre.
it's sprinkling out. It's almost six o'clock. Thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. Thank you to our new subscribers and we'll see everybody tomorrow. Please continue voting for me for the fabulous over 40 competition as this is the third round and then it'll be the top 10 women in, in it for next week and then it'll be the top five and then I'm still sitting in the first place. So thank you everybody again. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Till next time. God bless.